Hi, this is Ben Wilson with UVU's Fulton Library. I'm one of the business librarians, and in this tutorial, I just want to cover quickly some advanced search tips and tricks. The first one, which we've talked about in another tutorial, is using quotation marks. If there's anything that's a phrase that should stay together, like United States of America, identity theft, like anything that's more than one word that should stay together, you put it in quotation marks to search for it as a phrase. In this case, we're doing small business in quotation marks as a phrase. Then we're also saying, let's narrow it down from just small business because that would be way too many results. We're saying, let's also look for loan and let's look for the process or the steps that we need to take to get a small business loan. In the second example, I'm just showing you that if you put the word collateral, that's a different search that we could do. Remember, just keep trying different searches um, to get the results that you want. So maybe you want to see, does a person need collateral or not to get a small business loan? In this third one, you're going to see an example of how to take the root of a word and search for any word that has that root. So when you put the asterisk on the end here, it will fill in the suffix. So this would bring up financed, financing, or finance. Just a nice trick for anything that has multiple endings. Um, usually it's more with the, uh, uh, the tense, right? Present tense, past tense, all of that. In this next example, I'm using the quotation marks again for credit union. Maybe I want to see, are credit unions more likely to give a small business loan than a bank? But maybe as I'm doing my search, I'm getting a lot of banks coming up. So then I'm adding on for this next example, I'm adding on not bank. When you put the word not, the word that follows is excluded from your search. So then if an article had the word bank in it, it would not be returned as one of my results. In the next example here, maybe I don't care if it's a credit union or a bank. I'm just interested in either one. If you've done any kind of computer programming, you're probably familiar with nesting. This whole section that I just highlighted is nested, or it's in parentheses. And basically, we're turning it into its own one little kind of like math formula. It's saying, we don't care which one we get. We don't care if it's credit union or bank. We're fine with either one. Just return a result that has one of those. So the search here would look for small business and loans and either credit union or bank. This is a little more complicated, but hopefully it makes sense. Here's another example. This last one, we've got our small business in quotes or in quotes again, small and medium sized enterprises, which is a synonym for small businesses. And that's nested. It's in the parentheses. And then we're also telling it to look for loan or finance with the asterisks. And then we're also looking for credit union in quotes or banks because we don't care which one. So that's a very complex search, but that's a search I would actually do. And I, I, it would give really good results. Let's head over to our search here. And I would like to quickly point out the advanced search feature here that's in ABI. And if you click on that, you're going to have the option of adding more rows. And then you see here, if you ever forget, here's the and, or, and the not, and you can just select whatever it is you want here. So let's say I wanted to do my small business um, and do my or, paste that in there. Now, another thing you can do is you can tell it where you wanna be searching. So maybe I wanna search just in the abstracts, or maybe I wanna look in, um, Maybe do an author search. <clears throat> We've got lots of different options here of what we can look for. Another thing that we have to choose from is we can actually put a date filter on this if we want um, beforehand. Also, we've got our peer reviewed uh, button there that we can check. Further down, you're going to see that there are the different source types, document types, and languages that we could also select. 